Hello everybody, Aquagear here, and welcome to the Hermitcraft Mod Sauce Mod Pack Review. So today I'll be reviewing the Hermitcraft Mod Sauce Pack. Um, so probably a lot of you guys have heard this is, a lot of the Hermits are doing Let's Plays on it, and the Hermits are pretty popular, so, um, if you have heard of it, I'm not surprised. Anyway, behind me you could see a lot of the Mod Packs individually with, uh, their certain items, which I will be going through today. Uh, real quick, let's read these signs and then we could get into it. First one, not all mods are included. There are so many small mods and just different things that this will take a very long to make. Uh, which brings us to our second point. This would take a thousand million whatever years to do all the mods. So unless you guys want a video that's a couple months long, then I think this will be fine. Next, I won't be going into detail, but I will be talking about the mods I show. Thanks for watching, Aqua. So, yes, I won't be going into detail telling you how to craft them, where to get them, but I will be just talking a little bit about them. And, like I said, thanks for watching. Anyway, so this is our first little section with all the items and such, and then after this, we'll be going into one more place where I could show you some of the mobs and the bosses and such, which will be awesome. So without further ado, let's just hop straight into it. Alright everybody, so let's hop straight into it. The first thing we're going to be looking at is the statues mod. So, this is personally probably either one of my favorites or my favorite mod. For no reason, just because you can have people like this. So a lot of the components are uh, the palette, pala, I have no idea how to say it, the hammer, and just stuff like the, the showcases and obviously the figures. So, this one I'm going to go into a little bit of detail because I just love the mod. So what you do is you place two of any block, uh, uh, just two high, so one, two, and then you hit it with a hammer. Then you could type in a person's name and their skin will pop up. And then with the palette you uh, click on them and it will give them color. So these are some of the hermits, uh, Falls, King of DMAC, Mumbo, Cleo, Slipgator, Pungent, Suzuma, and of course this isn't all of them. There's a lot more. I'm sorry if I couldn't add you. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure you could put, like, stuff in this, and there's a smaller version of this also, but, yep, so that's the Statues mod. Next, the Harvest Craft. This is one of them that I don't know much about, but I know it's kind of like farming. You can make different types of food. Obviously, I see, like, a peach, uh, maybe some pie, corn, so it looks like a pretty cool mod, beehive cutting board so it looks like a pretty fun mod to play with looks like it has a lot of things because when i was looking through them i had a ton and ton of items so definitely looking forward to maybe um, playing with this next electric age so this is another one i don't know much about obviously i don't know much much about any of these but again because i'm kind of new the only other thing i've played is attack of the v team but that's for another day anyway uh, it seems like there's a lot of machinery involved in this one, a lot of weird things to tinker with, maybe a little bit of redstone, I'm not sure. Um, maybe some power thingies and armor. Okay, and yeah, there's a couple also items, so that's pretty cool, Electric Age mod. Next, Tinkers. Okay, Tinkers, uh, I know from what's here that it doesn't look like a lot, but Tinkers is probably one of the biggest mods here. Um... There's a lot of things with, like, uh, making weapons, there's a lot of other redstone things, there's a bunch of items, everything. So, I'm just gonna go through these couple items. This is a pick made through Tinkers, that's just a Tinkers block. This is, like, an example of something with redstone and Tinkers. We'll have slabs I just broke. Um, jeweled apple, obviously, the item frame is normal, but the jeweled apple, uh, that's another thing. And this is also part of actually making the tools. So, it involves a lot of melting of, of ores, stuff like that. I'm not going to go into detail, but yeah. Tinkers is a lot of, is one of the more famous mods. Next, Flans mod. Another one of uh, a fan favorite, because a lot of people love this, obviously, because it's guns, you get to shoot people, more PvP. Who doesn't love PvP? So, there's things like armor, obviously, uh, armor boxes, stuff like that. Um, a lot of, kind of, PvP. PvP type things like maybe capture the flag flags or a lot of vehicles like the helicopter uh, Maybe like sentry guns shelves parachutes obviously a lot of guns with their different types of ammo So that's awesome. You guys probably know about that. So I'm not gonna go very much into detail Advanced genetics So this is another one of those really really complicated mods with a lot of machinery which I'm not gonna go deep into Personally, I know a little bit about it because I've watched people do mod reviews on the specific mod, but I'm not going to go deep into it because you guys probably know, but anyway, um, 
kind of the simple version is you inject yourself with certain um, DNA thingies and you get powers like flying etc next better chests this one it didn't seem like a huge mod but I might be wrong again I'm sort of a little bit new to this but it seems like uh, you could have a lot these are chest upgrades and different kinds of chests so just like the name says better chest you could upgrade a chest to be better and better and better which is amazing again I'm not gonna go through the upgrades you guys can check it out yourself next bibliocraft so I I'm guessing this is has to do with a lot of furniture and such because you can see tables a lot of fine detail like uh, the desk bell sword pedestal lighting a lot so again pretty big mod you guys should check it out and we'll, oh one important thing if I haven't mentioned it yet the place where to download the mod will be in the description so if you guys want to check it out yourself go ahead and do that next thermal expansion so this is another one of those huge thingies with ores and tools and redstone and machinery and boxes and such so yep um, a lot of ores I probably already said that anyway so pretty cool and one more time I'm gonna say this is I'm not gonna go deep into detail really I'm just kind of showing you sample mods that are in here and kind of take a look at the items next um, this one's kind of weird blood magic I haven't checked this one at all because I'm not whoops I'm not interested in anything like that just I don't know next redstone arsenal so like the name says probably a lot of redstone a lot of advanced armors picks machinery stuff like that next Steve cart 2 so again another one of those big mods with a lot of variety of items I don't know much about this but again a lot of box machinery probably discs new ender balls things like that if you guys know more about it, um, I don't know, you can tell me in the comments, whatever. Well, it's your goat, not your boat, your goat. Natura, Natura, I don't even know how to say this. Another, an another, another <laughs> big mod with a lot of different items. Again, just like this one with like thermal and flans, there's a lot of, lot of things with this. And it would probably take up 100 by 100 square of space to show you everything. So I'm just going to kind of skip past it because you guys probably know a lot about it build craft um, again same with a lot of other mods just a lot of machinery items redstone computer thingies aperture I'm guessing this is apiculture not aperture apiculture so again I think this has to do a lot of with like beehives stuff like that forestry sorry about that um, so again don't know much about this but seems quite interesting forestry I think that goes along with this also um, like every other other one a lot of machines I think you can make like bags and different tools to help you out in the wild Sim simply jetpack jetpacks oh my gosh um, pretty simple a lot of jetpacks a lot of upgrades a lot of items where you could fly nether ores I think this just kind of adds a war uh, like an overworld kind of perspective to the nether because it has ores and different things like that industry one of the things that I have no clue about I have no idea what any of this stuff does so do not ask me but it looks like it has like power involved and different computer items so yep those are just a couple of the sample mods there are a lot a lot more so I would definitely go check this out and next we are going to be looking at some of the mobs in this mod pack so I'll see you when we go there also guys, you can't forget some of the pause menu features. So this is one thing I didn't plan to go over, but I guess I'm going over it now. So most of the things are the same, like the back to game achievements, statistics, open land, save and quit. But there's a couple things like the mods option, which I don't know how to use, tails editor. So I guess you can have tails and such if I can move myself around, which is kind of cool. So, um... You can add tails to yourself. I think you add like certain tints and stuff, which is amazing. And lastly, the mod update detector, which I have no idea what this does either. It's just a couple of little small features that I just kind of felt like showing. So um, let's get back to the mods. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the mob portion of this mod pack review. So <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. There's a lot of mobs not mobs slimes running around and I'm sorry about that but I can't really do anything about it because they just keep spawning and spawning one thing I did make a mistake when doing this is I didn't actually 
name them. I just gave them a name tag and named them Tess. So I can't see their names, but I'm pretty sure I know a lot of their names. So I think we'll be fine. So let's start down here. This is uh, the roaster. And again, not going to go into detail, just kind of showing you all the mobs. I think this is like the glob. This down here is a little bug thing. Oh, it's a frog. It's a toad. It's a toad. I think this is like a hunter kind of thing. A ghost. I'm not sure. This is a blue bird. Pixie. Demon. What are you? I think this is a mandrake. Forgot your name, but again, kind of like same with a mandrake. Uh, a specter. An owl. I don't know what happened to this guy. A banshee. Those things are horrible. Because they scream like that. I don't know what happened to that guy. This is Death. He is one of the bosses. This is a Vampire Hunter. This is the Lord of Torment. It's scary. Fire Imp. Uh, Hobgoblin, I'm pretty sure. Or Goblin. Uh, this is like a Baby Mandrake or something. This is the Duplicator. Or Replicator, my bad. Don't know what happened to that guy. No, this is the Hobgoblin. My bad. The other one was probably like a, a normal Goblin. This is a Mog. Um, a, a lot of these just have like these I'm not gonna tell you the like, specific names because they're just like different names But they all look exactly the same. They're just kind of lizards So that's all cool get out of the way slime Yep, so this one's like a turtle Don't know what happened to that guy. Like, this is a crocodile This is a blizz bliss. I don't know how to call it. This is another one of those crocodiles and lastly just this thing, this the Megalian yeah, something. I love this thing, it's amazing. But I have a couple more to show you. These are more kind of boss mobs. And again, I'm not gonna go through all the mobs, I missed a couple, but these are just kind of the cool ones. I'm gonna do these four because they kept disappearing or not fitting in these, and a lot of them already disappeared. I don't know what happened to them. But let's just kind of go over here and look at these. This is the Phantom. Yeah, so really I couldn't trap this one, but I really want to show this one. The Horned Huntsman, this is actually another boss. So, yep, that's the guy right there. He looks pretty cool. The Wasp, again, is just hard because it flew away. And this is by far the most annoying mob because that noise drives me crazy. And last to end, I couldn't really trap this, you know. But anyway, guys, um, I actually kind of lied. Okay, whatever, I don't even care. Anyway, uh, I lied. I said this was going to be the last thing, but we're not. We're going to go back to my office, and I'm actually going to share my own opinion on this mod pack. And then this will end, I promise. So, I'll see you guys in the office. Alright everybody, so this is going to be the last portion of this Hermitcraft Mod Sauce Mod Pack review. Um, in this portion, I'm just going to be kind of saying my own opinion on this mod pack. In the other two portions, I showed you what items, but in this one, I'm just going to mostly be talking. And this is going to be quick, because, <clears throat> I'm sorry, uh, my opinion is quite, like, there's not a lot to say about it, it's pretty ordinary. So my opinion on it is that, this mod pack does remind me a lot of Attack of the Bee Team. A lot of people will disagree, a couple people will probably agree, but it's probably just nostalgic because Attack of the Bee Team was the first one I played, and this one has a lot of the same mods in it. So, to me it does, to probably a lot of you it doesn't, but that's just my, my own opinion. Also, this mod pack is great. There's a lot of good things in it. I would definitely recommend playing with it. Again, the place to download it will be in the description, so you guys could check it out. And yeah, there's really nothing nothing more to say. It's a pretty great mod pack. I have no complaints really. It's pretty good. I mean, a lot of the 1.8 features aren't in it, like the optimization features and a lot of like the colored fences and stuff like that, but that's not a big deal. Probably it'll upgrade sometime anyway. But guys, uh, I just really kind of wanted to say if you've stuck this long, I really appreciate you watching and I'll talk to you guys later. God bless and goodbye.